afternoon, Proxy Table Gaming fans. You are joined by the Gobbo for the Goblin's Grotto Artist Case File. And today we have Bob Dog's Paints, a chap called Bobby. Awesome. Yeah, that is a fantastic coloured squig. <laughs> Love a good squig. So, Bobby started when he was eight, which is the same sort of time that I started, actually, which is quite good. Uh, he took lots of long breaks, however. Um, not that you can tell with his painting, because I think it's fantastic. Again, I love the giant. Just the skin tones are really, really nice. In his second year of university, he decided to dip his toes in. I think he's been hooked ever since. Yeah, blimey, look at the skin on that. That's the, um, is it Keeper of Secrets new model? I think so. Not sure about the gin there, that's a bit weird. But yeah, fantastic model. My older brothers gave me their old 6th edition Warhammer models, which is the Empire and the Orcs, if I remember correctly. That's the, the one that I started with, which is good. Just, yeah, undead ghost army. Yeah, who's who hasn't done that? <laughs> Oh, fantastic. So this is his Gene Stealer cults, and he's done Ogrins that are Gene Stealers. That's really interesting. I love the colour scheme. I'm not really a fan of the Aberration models, but they are still quite Gene Stealery. Yeah, I completely agree with him. Instagram is easily one of my biggest inspirations as well. There's so many different people out there, so many different takes on everything. And it's so easy to find that spark of creation. Oh, he's actually modded or curated his Facebook and Pinterest so that he only gets models <laughs> and kit passion. Um, it's probably a good idea, actually, rather than all the, the crap that's on there at the moment. Wow. I don't even know what model that is. Bobby, if you if you can tell me what model that is, I'd love to know what it is. Is it some sort of Cyclops? That's cool. His favourite model is the Mega Gargan. And you can see why. <laughs> so I love the colour on the skin. So if you look at the knuckles, for example, he's managed to get all the individual lines, but also again the shading is perfect. Ah, cracking job there, Bobby. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Terminate. I can't remember the name of the Hive Fleet, but that's one of my favourite colour schemes. So the, the darker blues with purple all the way through, and you've got the reds as the, the alternate colour. It just looks really, really smart. I haven't done Tyranids probably for about... 20 years um, mine were red and the cream colour which I think is probably Leviathan I don't know, anyway um, they're not easiest to do because there's not much texture especially on all the smooth armour plates and stuff like that, so again the, the way he's managed to draw extra parts on and draw attention to all the plates I think it's really really clever and again your, your Necron chappy in the top right there just so smooth. Don't be afraid to reach out for advice. So for me, that's something that uh, when I first started Instagram, I was really worried about commenting on other people's stuff, thinking, oh, what does he know? Silly, silly little gobbo. But the more and more that I actually went out and spoke to people, I said, dude, how on earth did you do that? That's amazing. People are more than happy to talk about their own work. Um, just fantastic. Bobby uses painting groups on Facebook, Reddit. I haven't tried Reddit yet, actually. In all my years of hobbying, I don't think I've met anyone who wasn't happy to chat about their work. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Again, people love talking about themselves, which is awesome. But 
especially something that they've created. And I think if you share what you've created and the method of how you create it, then more people will then do it, which then means there is more things for you to look at and more inspiration for yourself. Social media is chock full of eager painters, some eager beavers. These are the new Dominion box ones. I like the colour scheme on the chap on the right. He's a bit beefy, isn't he? Again, for some reason, I'm just not a fan of the, the I think they're called Cruel Boys. It's probably because they've got Hobgoblins. Boo, Hobgoblins. Yeah, he's working for both forces. They look really smart. Um, I like the little squig shield, which is awesome. <laughs> if you're comfortable doing this level painting, I think that's fantastic. To be able to smash this out in good speed and be almost sort of laid back doing it, I think you're in a great spot. Blimey. I don't know what that model is on the top left. Is that a conversion? It's lo it looks like an ogre -y thing. Is it an ogre? Servitor ogre thing? Not sure. If you could let us know, that'd be great. And then Necrons from the Indomitus stuff. Again, really, really smooth on the armor plates. I like a little bit of the OSL on the um, little hand button thingy, which is quite cool. And I like the way on the bottoms where the legs are walking through that dust field you're starting to get a lot of the shading a lot of the dust on there as well rather than just this completely clean model yeah really really nice he is proud of his current output i would be too mate <laughs> i think you've done amazing so <laughs> you want to get bigger and badder pieces but I thought your gargant was huge. <laughs> Surely that's pretty big. Yes, love a good troll. Although he's probably not very happy with that goblin. Silly troll. He wants to focus on a higher level of painting. It's understandable. Again, I'd, I'd love to be better. It's just trying to commit to doing that level across entire armies if i was doing individual pieces then something that i'd definitely commit to but again i think your painting already is amazing <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know what model that is on the right it looks like a sigmari thing it's possibly from the um what was the new game called curse city box Every model ends up on Instagram one way or another. Yes. That's something that I should really do. It's just anything that I paint, just chuck on Instagram. Here we go. Yes. Mega squig. Those eyeballs are so good. He looks really, really unhappy. It's probably because he's got a, a little bit of a cavity in his big fang there. Always go to the dentist, guys. Blimey. All the shades going all the way through from the purples all the way through to the pinks. And then the creams at the top as well. Really, really smart. Great attention to detail. Now, fantastic job, Bobby. Really enjoyed that. So, Bob Dog Paints on Instagram. And then his little quote I have some giant pieces in that pile of shame that I'm eager to crack on with. <laughs> I don't like the phrase pile of shame, I really don't. Again, it could be a pile of shame, but yeah, I know there was this thing going around on Instagram about the, uh, is it pile of potential or something like that, or something like that, but there's no need to feel shame in this hobby. I think we should all really embrace what we have. So for example, my shame is that I collect every single bit from Spruce. <laughs> And I never get rid of bits, because I might use that eventually. And I've actually got probably more bits boxes than I have models. Which is awesome when you do little conversions, but yeah, anyway. 
But no, thank you very much, Bobby, for sending me your stuff. I do really appreciate it. And I love seeing more stuff. So when you do crack on with your big, giant, bad pieces, I'd love to show them again. And I'd love to see it and um, see what you're getting on with. Okay, guys, thank you very much. So if you would like to see your work on this show, please get in contact. We'd love to show it. We'd love to comment on it. And we'd really love to share it with everyone. Please like, share, subscribe to Bob Dog Paints. Share his work. Talk to him about it. Comment on things. We need to get to the point where we are sharing our hobby and we are growing it with love and appreciation. And it, speaking of <laughs> love and appreciation, if you could like, share and subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Um, we want to show as much content as possible to you guys. And thank you so very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon.